Uh, Heath Schroyer, um, UT Martin. Right. So let's talk to me about your general thoughts on the upcoming season. Well, I mean, it's year one for us. Um, we obviously took over a program that needs completely rebuilt, but uh, I think we had a really good spring. Uh, we signed some players that uh, I think will help us. And then obviously the most important thing is the players that are in the program, and they, those guys have gotten better. So we're looking forward to having a, you know, a really challenging but good first year. What are you as a coach most looking forward to in your first year at UT Martin? Putting the pieces together. You know, um, I think that just being able to understand the league, uh, put the pieces together, you know, develop a team, develop a culture, and uh, in a way we, we need to play to be competitive in this league. And what do you like most about this team this year? You know, they're really getting along. They, they've, they really want to learn. You know, all the returners, uh, they've, they've done everything that we've asked as a coaching staff, and they've really worked extremely hard. Uh, I love where we are as a program right now. Our culture is better. Um, they're understanding how hard they have to work to have success. So uh, we're moving in the right direction. And on the opposite, opposite side of that, what about a big challenge for you? I think that uh, getting guys to understand um, how to win, and they've never won. You know, there isn't a person in that locker room that's ever uh, really won, and uh, especially at UT Martin. So developing that mindset, um, understanding how to get through adversity. Um, you know, we got eight of our first nine games on the road, so we're going to face adversity right away. Um, are we strong enough mentally to be able to get through that and, uh, you know, lick our wounds and get ready to go into league play? Yeah. And what's your thoughts on the OVC overall this year? I think it's a great league. I think it's one of the premier major leagues in the country. Um, I think that, you know, we're on the verge of being a, a two-bid league. Um, you know, I think that uh, anytime you have teams like Belmont and Murray and, you know, Eastern Kentucky and, and you know, Moorhead, those four, I mean, they're really, really good basketball teams. And I think from top to bottom, um, it's a very competitive league, has been every year, and I don't think it will be any different this year. And what will it take for this team this year to cut down the nets in Nashville in March? Chemistry and toughness. Um, you know, I think that uh, we've, in, we've the players in our program have gotten better. I think we've added some uh, some good pieces right now. It's fitting them all together, and uh, and having a tough enough mindset to, uh, you know, to to be there in the end. And uh, that's our goal. That's our goal from day one, uh, when I took this job, is uh, you know to cut down the nets in Nashville. So um, I think that's that has to be the goal every year, and uh, and it is for us this year. And then lastly, just talk to me about your non-conference schedule this year. Well, I think it's really challenging. You know, we inherited most of it. Um, when I got the job, we had two preseason home games. Um, so we have eight of our first nine on the road. And, um, you know, so it's it's one of those things that uh, is going to prepare us for league play. If you want to compete for championships, you're going to have to learn to win on the road, especially in league play. And we're going to go to some very challenging places right off the bat. And uh, so that's going to test us. But uh, I also think it's going to make us a lot better. So. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not easy, but um, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll figure out a way to conquer it.